Has the great engineering dream died? India's crisis of engineering education is now quite visible. Indian engineers who used to dream of working in big offices, driving luxury cars, and living in large bungalows are now concerned about finding a promising job as they get into their final year at college. Several reports have pointed out low employability of engineering graduates, except those from prestigious institutes. Most engineering colleges are unable to provide education to engineering students that would get them suitable jobs. On top of that, the huge number of engineering passouts, which is more than the total number of engineers produced by the United States and China combined together, with roughly 1.5 million engineering passouts each year, there are not even a tenth number of engineering jobs. There's a clear supply and demand gap. For those who do end up getting a job after an engineering degree, take up jobs which are well below their technical qualifications since their supply far outnumbers their demand. They do not get jobs for which they are qualified or suitable jobs, which makes the matters worse. Also, entry level salary is very low and has stagnated at that level for the last eight to nine years. Conversations with students faculty members and higher education experts suggest students don't always sign up for engineering courses just to become engineers and to start designing new engines for cars, extending the lifetime of a battery. Most of them simply want a job, any job, and given a choice, a job with the government. On top of that, more threatening is the fact that the two key industries which hire engineers in India, the IT and the manufacturing sector, are also hiring a lesser number of them than before. The IT industry in India, which grew by as much as 30% up till five years ago, has slowed down to a 10.2% growth rate at present. The demand for qualified professionals in the field has understandably gone down too. The situation is grimmer for tier two and tier three colleges. The huge disparity between the salary for top colleges and the not so highly sought after ones, which has already been highly pronounced, is expected to widen further. While average startup salary for an IIT pass out is 9 through 10 lakh Indian rupees per year, that of a second grade college pass out is barely 1.8 to 2 lakh a year. Students who come from humble economic backgrounds and whose parents had to arrange student loans to be able to give their wards a decent education and ensure a bright future are worried too. Not surprisingly, engineers are taking up jobs for which they are not qualified. A large number of engineering graduates who fail to grab an employment in their respective field end up joining BPO or call center units that could be disastrous for them in the future. A McKinsey report had flagged the issue more than a decade ago when it said just a quarter of engineers in India were actually employable. The website named as The Logic in Indian wrote about a mechanical engineer who is driving an auto rickshaw in New Delhi because he has hungry mouths to feed and a family to look after. It is pertinent to point out that only a small percentage of those who pass out from engineering colleges do possess any skills worth a name at all. Most of them are not employable or require a long-term training to do a job. One of the major problem is the students opting for this course. A large number of them were forced upon by parents and many of them were taking the course just because their friends were opting for engineering. At the root of the problem is mushrooming of low quality engineering colleges over the years. As students from such colleges fail to get suitable jobs, they face decline in enrollment. Now, a large number of these colleges are being shut down as students are now becoming more aware of the current situation. There will be around 80,000 less seats in engineering this year in the country. This will lead to around 3.1 lakh seats less than four years. According to all the India Council for Technical Education, nearly 200 substandard engineering colleges have applied for this closure. AICTE wants to close down about 800 engineering colleges across India. There are no takers for their seats, and admissions are plunging in these colleges every year. 
On the bright side, the promising growth of the startup ecosystem in India is emerging as a rescuer for those who are hardworking and passionate about their field.